Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, the Pacific Demon, Caliban Drucker. And I kind of wanted to take a look at Project Root, a new shooter that came out. Top view airplane shooter. Reminds me of the 1940s and the Project Raiden series. It's actually not bad. For an indie's game, graphic-wise, it looks really awesome. Controls are really smooth and fast. Difficulties up there. As you can see, air and ground targets, bases. Missiles and bullets to fire and follow you. The controls, the graphics, and the music, the sound kind of reminds me of old arcade games. It's, for me, it was a, definitely worth picking up. The two biggest things that I kind of hate of the game, or has my concerns, is of course, first, if you notice, you can seriously hit really dizzy in a matter of seconds playing this game. Those little blue thing that I just picked up are supers or specials as a shield. The other thing is, of course, where your plane is at any moment. Bad guys can come from the back and shoot you. It's pretty hard watching both the on-screen gameplay and the little uh, radar screen. Each mission is actually pretty long. The maps are almost as big as GTA 5's map. There's a lot of secondary missions and a couple primaries. The first and second mission that I've played so far took me about 45 minutes each to actually finish. I mean the whole mission. Of course, you can finish the primary missions really fast. In fact, one of the achievements is finishing the first level in, in a couple minutes. Which is possible if you just skip straight to the primaries. This is your first level boss. Pretty crazy, huh? This game is seriously intense. As you can see, you're getting shot at from every angle. And a lot of it you don't even see, come. A lot of people give indie games crap. There's a lot of indie games out there that's pretty worth it, and this is one of them. <laughs> it brings back the nostalgia, the old school feeling of being in the arcades.
definitely need more games like this. Games that bring back the feeling of Super Nintendo, Nintendo, hell, even Atari games. A lot of people don't like indie games. That's their problem. Personally, I, as a gamer, I like any type of game that, well, it's fun and I'm gonna enjoy. Doesn't matter who made them, how they look. All that matters is that it's pretty difficult, it's fun to play. You know, what more can you ask from a game? Now people talk about games not being worth it. For a game that's usually anywhere from 5 to 20 bucks, any games are more than worth it. And Project Root is definitely more than worth it. And again, we all know why most people don't want to play this. It's probably too hard for them. Where are the true gamers? Now that's it for me guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.